This is part five in a series intended to help you use the Family Search Research Wiki to find records for your ancestors in Italy. In parts three and four, we began developing a case study into the family of Pietro Gario Bellandi. In part four, we found the marriage of his parents, Giuseppe Bellandi and Maria Armida Fiasci. On their marriage certificate, it gave the names of their parents, who would be Pietro's grandparents. In this video, I will show you how to search, particularly for the death records of his grandfather, Pietro Bellandi, who was married to Caterina Cochi. You will find links to online death records for your ancestors on the Italy province page for the province where your ancestors lived. Use this URL, which is listed in the notes below this lesson. From the Italy main page, we will scroll down to the list of provinces and find the province of Prato. From any province genealogy page, you can scroll down to this section on civil registration. And in the first item, you will find online records. This will bring you to a page that allows you to search the collection. I'm going to look for the death record of Pietro Bellandi, the grandfather of our original Pietro. I'm going to select death. I don't know anything more about his death place except that it was probably in Prato, and this is the Prato collection, so I don't need to fill that out. And I don't really have any idea when it might have been. I can narrow the search down here by filling in the name of his spouse. And here is the index entry for his death. By clicking on this view, we come to a neat little extract card. In addition to his death date and place, we learn his age, his birth year, his birthplace, and the names of his parents. If you meet these conditions, then you will be able to see a digitized photocopy of the original record. Notice that the record was prepared by filling out a printed form. Some of the Italian records are not indexed and extracted, and you will have to read this original form. From any Italy province page, in the table of contents, you will find a section on reading the records. Clicking on that link, you will find several aids for reading Italian records. The Italian genealogical word list that I'll show you in a moment, and the Italian civil death document translation. This is the same form that was used for Pietro's death record. It is given here both in Italian and English. Most of the rest of the language in the document will be found in the Italian genealogical word list, in this list of keywords most often used, and in this list of numbers and names of the month and days of the week. Other words like occupations and relationships will be found in this general word list, a small dictionary with just the words needed for genealogy. For your province, sometimes when you look to see what civil registration records are available, you will see an entry like this that says browsable images but doesn't mention an index. Clicking on that link will bring you to a list of communities within the province. Clicking on one of the communities will bring you to a list of the types of records and years that are available. Morti is the Italian word for deaths. These are the deaths for 1917. Clicking on that, you will come to the original images of the records. You won't read every word on the page. The names of the deceased are here in the margin, and you will simply scroll through the pages reading the names in the margin until you come to the death record that you need. Now that we have found Pietro's death record, I'm going to show you how we can use the index to locate his relatives. After the first time you use the search engine, it will appear over here on the left margin. I'm going to remove Pietro's name, just leaving his last name. I'm going to search these death records with a relationship. I'm going to enter in the names of Pietro's parents. 
And here we have records pertaining to many of his brothers and sisters. Now you try it. Find the online death certificates for your province. Gather death records for your ancestors and their various relatives. Piece together the clues that you found in those records. Watch for any clues to earlier generations.